5G opportunities for the monetization in the telecom industry. Which segments offer the best potential and which business models can be applied? And what capabilities are required? Kieran Heron, he's a telecommunication industry veteran and responsible for billing and revenue innovation management pre-sales at SAP. And he's here to share his experience and his future vision of 5G opportunities. Welcome, Kieran. Thanks uh, for having me. You're welcome. So you work with many different telecommunication companies. So which 5G business models do you think will be most successful and which can lead to new revenue streams for these organizations? Well, a lot of telco providers are looking at new industry solutions as the real opportunity for 5G. And offering industry solutions, that means the telcos are um, planning to collaborate with industry um, solution providers who, who, who in turn can provide um, services to their end customers. So that means the typical business models can be a lot more complex and, 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 and really B2B2X is, is one of the key um, business models coming out of that. And, and, and the number of uh, players as part of the, the, the business model, for example, there's the telco provider, there's the industry solution provider, and then there's the end consumer um, who receives and, and consumes the service. And uh, so, so managing those more complex business models, is, it, it, it's, it's the real opportunity um, to generate um, new revenue streams. So you were mentioning this B2B2X and it's also much more complicated to define this business model. So what are the key capabilities needed to enable these 5G business models? So if you look at the traditional B2X model where telcos are providing solutions to consumers or to enterprises, with the new B2B2X model, it becomes a lot more complex. And so essentially the telcos are providing services to um, the industry solution providers. They may be um, providing connectivity, for example. And th at the same time, they may be providing solu solutions and services to the consumers. And a key capability is managing the service providers, the industry solution providers. And, and, and that means really enterprise billing capability is, 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 is a key um, capability required to do that. Now, secondly, as well, um, given that telcos will essentially be um, collaborating within an ecosystem of partners. That also means there's a requirement for revenue sharing and settlement with those partners. So the ability to manage various forms of, uh, of, of revenue sharing, whether it's um, commission-based models or, or uh, settlement for, for royalties or, and, and so on. So being able to manage various different um, revenue sharing models is, is, is the second capability. The third capability that's extremely important is that um, it's very difficult for a telco operator to justify ripping and replacing their whole, their, their complete billing environment for 5G. That simply from a, a feasibility and viability perspective, that might not work. So the ability to be able to deploy new, capa new billing capabilities and revenue management capabilities alongside the legacy systems without disruption, um, that, that's really the third uh, key capability that's required. And then finally, um, a lot of the new business models require different forms of data. Uh, and in the past, um, telcos have been taking data from the network, for example, CDR data, um, other types of, types of usage data. But now think about different types of data that's, that, that's required. They might need data from the core, data from the edge. Um, they might need to capture data from their partner applications via API, for example. So basically, the ability to take various forms of data from different data sources and normalize it as the input to the to, to the billing process. That's really the, the, the fourth uh, key capability that's required. Yeah, and if we then look to the market right now, um, I think a full 5G enterprise offering may be just a few years away. So the question is, 
why should telco operators should invest right now in developing these capabilities? Can you elaborate on that? Some of the new business models like B2B2X, those can also be implemented on the current 4G technology. And we already see telco operators really getting into industry solutions such as providing healthcare. And, and that's a hot topic at, at the minute with the, uh, the, the COVID-19 situation. So things like healthcare, we see telco operators um, getting involved in toll collect, travel and transportation. And a lot of those services can be provided even with the current 4G technology. Obviously, in future, when we look at new capabilities such as uh, mobile edge computing and, and, and really um, having the ability to offer services on the edge, that can be the real um, game changer for 5G. Um, but essentially, the telcos can start now and start implementing the business models and trying trying out new ideas and 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 seeing to see what works. So it's not it doesn't have to be only on five G. Basically, the telco operators they they can start right now and 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 start implementing new five uh, new B two B two X business models. Definitely, it makes a lot of sense. Thank you, Kieran, for for sharing your views on the new 5G business models and the required capabilities. And for the audience, thank you for watching and we're looking forward to seeing you next time.